It was foggy as we started off our trip to Saratoga this morning. As you can see here in Mayfield, looking out towards you, there's the Mayfield Grill. It was foggy up there, but not too bad as we made our way through town and across the bridge. There you can see it was still foggy, but not, not unmanageable. Once we got out of Mayfield, it broke up pretty quickly. Stopped at Food and Fuel and grabbed a couple of essentials, including the best value coffee in the area. Um, absolutely amazing deal over there, always great coffee. Here we caught the sunrise over near Wood Howells Road as we were heading towards Saratoga. Caught it right coming through the trees. Wood Howells Road is, uh, there's Doug's uh, automotive. That's where the second dog is sandbar. Now, uh, I can't think of what they believe. These bars down there at the end of there. Great place, the channel bar. Uh, there's a bird flying overhead, <laughs> scaring me a little bit. More of the sunrise there over by Doug's on Wood Howells Road. And this place, I've always wondered about it, so I got a little footage of it this morning. Uh, all these knickknacks and Adirondack chairs halfway down Route 29. Um, been there for decades. I know that the show Real People back in the 80s actually did a special of it. Um, kind of some really, really cool stuff there. Uh, anything you could ever want in the matter of woodworking and that type of thing right there. And we continue to make our way into Saratoga. Um, my main uh, ace was with me today, Pinky, my bear. He's uh, riding shotgun and enjoying the trip to Saratoga as always. Here we are crossing the railroad tracks, heading into town, getting really close. Uh, as you'll see later, we'll go over by Caddy Hill by the railroad tracks. There's the time at the high school as we pass into town. Made a little pass by the park as they're doing the cleanup for the from the Guns N' Roses concert last night. You can, if you look closely here on this footage here, once we get past the security, you actually see people out there on the lawn picking up some of the stuff still from last night. This is first thing in the morning. I never really realized what a comprehensive effort went into cleaning up uh, the day after an event like this, but everybody, great job on that, that's for sure. You just wish it kind of wasn't such a mess in the first place, but it is what it is, and it's good that it gets done. Here's a Mini Cooper on the way into the track this morning. I had some, a Porsche and some other nice cars, but I screwed up the footage, but, so we get the Mini Cooper. And it is what it is, no big deal. Here's a track view from the street. You can see some of the horses going around the track. There's the historic grandstands. The vehicle passing in front of me. <laughs> you can see the nice waterfall out there. Some of the other amenities here at the beautiful historic Saratoga race course. We'll look down in the grandstand area. Not many people there yet, early on a Saturday morning. This is, about, this is for training. Uh, and the last weekend generally isn't quite as busy as the rest of them. After the Travers, it kind of winds down. Not as much as it once did, but still, it gets a little bit slower. Here are some of the plaques out front. There's Forte winning the Hopeful. Then we're going to see the Whitney plaque up here ahead of it with Life's Good. And some of the other stuff out front. Absolutely beautiful out there with the gardens and the jockeys out there. The 1863 Club here at this entrance. They really have done a great job. It's modernizing it, and it looks better, I think, every time I go over there. I really got to give them a lot of credit for the work at the Whitney entrance, especially. I haven't gone to the other entrance in years. I'm not sure how it looks over there. Here's the post bar. Um, one of the newer amenities. They added a double deck to this, and it's absolutely pretty killer out here. It overlooks the paddock, and I'm sure that, you know, lots of good times are had up there. At a premium, but good times nonetheless. Here we are. From the paddock view from the post bar, uh, heading toward the track, track view there. Um, beautiful, I love this bar. I don't drink there much, but I do like to stop in, get the views and the vibes. Uh, I race time, everybody's in there excited, screaming, and, uh, and very right next to the paddock. It's a very exciting place at the racetrack. There's a paddock, look at the paddock. Very quiet, first thing in the morning. All right, we walked through a little bit of the museum over here in the center of the backyard area some information about some tours and special events coming up here's a look at the backyard from there a little growing up right there in that spot and here we are a special trip to the roof today actually first time ever bucket list item the stairs were unwatched and unguarded and I went right up to the roof there's Frank Maramati's announcer's booth 
uh, nobody else gets coverage like this. I can promise you the Todd Brower Show is the one and only place that you will see anything like this. Walking around the roof this morning in Saratoga, absolutely epic bucket list, like I say. I've always wanted to get up there, and now that I have, it was actually pretty crazy. Now we're back down in the clubhouse, uh, taking a look at training. A little pan across the track. We'll see some horses coming here in a second. Some of the signage out there in the middle of the track. One of the fountains. Absolutely beautiful day. Seeing everything going on here at Saratoga. As we finish it up for 2023. Just a couple more days of racing left. Here's my gazebo. If anybody uh, ever buys this gazebo or rents this space, uh, let me know if you got an extra seat. I'm sure it's like 20 grand at race day or something ridiculous. It's right in front of the 1863 uh, club. It's literally track side. Um, you can't get much better than this. Look right up there, there's right up the track. Absolutely like the coolest thing ever. This is definitely where I want to sit from now on, but I never will, but that's just another story. Back in the gazebo, there's actually a, there's actually a betting thing in there where you can actually, there's your betting screen. Make your bets. There's some bougie uh, fly traps all over to make sure you're comfortable. You pay twenty thousand dollars. They put up five or six fly traps. Uh, absolutely amazing. You know they take great good care of you. There's another beautiful view of a beautiful morning at Saratoga. Really, really. Uh, you can get your IV treatment over there as well. And here's our local Antonucci food truck out there at the racetrack. Back at the gazebo. There's my seat. I was sitting here. I took a couple of pictures. And selfies and enjoying there's the bougie fly trap again my trackside view absolutely wonderful morning there's the 1863 club um, another high dollar experience here in saratoga um, we're going to look at some really really nice artwork um, i don't have the artist's name on here but on the live stream that i posted on youtube this morning i did get his information on there on a different video absolutely amazing work uh, these, these cost anywhere from six thousand to twenty thousand dollars a piece this is the real deal um, I'm not sure what they're what they're painted with but they're absolutely beautiful and if you ever got an extra 20 grand laying around this guy will sell you some paintings he was coming around to see if I was enjoying his work I'm not sure if he thought I was gonna take off with one of those or what but I don't blame him I mean if I had twenty thousand dollar paintings I'd be a little edgy myself here's a view up here at the Wilson Chute, this is where they start some of the different races. I believe the mile races start here. It's right up at the top of the track. It kind of gives it just a different angle to start the races. There's the, goes the morning trolley. It goes up to the backstretch tours every morning here. Uh, one more day of that tomorrow on Sunday. Uh, Monday they're all done with that. Um, some more views from the Wilson. Here we go over to the Saratoga State Park. And beautiful entrance there then we're going to take a quick stop to Mary Lou Whitney's Caddy Hill estate they wouldn't let me in uh, tried went and talked to the booth they said no oh, we're back at the automobile museum um, there was a couple things there they're out of focus hopefully we can see the horse here at the end this clip was really annoying there we go at least we got that in there and there we are in Mosherville on the way home, Mosherville, Mosherville, uh, it all depends on how you want to say it. There's the Always Order 29, owned by the dear friends of mine. Hopefully everybody's over there enjoying the movies tonight. Absolutely beautiful. And there we are back at the art somehow. Like I said, these clips got a little screwed up, but this art artwork is absolutely incredible from the racetrack. I highly encourage everybody to check this out. Um, how the hell I split this up, I don't even know, but... There it is, some more of that. And there we go. <laughs> Back at another view of the racetrack and the 18th. Uh, this is from the Wilson shoot, actually. Long view around the track. Back towards the 1863 Club and the stands. And there we are back at Caddy Hill and Mary Lou Whitney's house. <laughs> Hopefully that was it for that little debacle. And there's Mosherville again. And here we are at Veterans Hemp Market. I'm excited this week. I'm going to get over there and talk to Jason about their move to Gloversville. And everything about the local cannabis movement, movement that's booming. Um, they're, they're absolutely uh, rocking the local cannabis. And 
Veterans Holdings and Veterans Hunt Market and all the great things going on there. We're going to talk to him soon here on the Todd Brower channel. And here we are back by the Ozoner again. Hopefully over there enjoying the night. Got my clips all mixed up. Now we're on our way home. There's the traffic circle as we head back up into Mayfield. And thanks for enjoying the Todd Brower show today on the Saturday vlog. Me enjoying the gazebo pictures here. Hopefully, like, subscribe, and enjoy these videos.